Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, which is 8 raised to the power x equals to 60. Here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 60 here. Then, next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m, raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 60 from here. That is, next step, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. Here, we have log 8 cancelled each other. And we are left with x, which is equal to log 60 over log 8. The next step here, we can express 60 as 4 times 15, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 15, then over log 8. That is, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. Well, we have log a times b. The same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log Four plus log fifteen, then over log eight here. And when we separate this into two fractions, we have x now equals to log four over log eight plus log fifteen over log eight. Then we can express 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Also, hit as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 raised to the power 3. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 2 raised to the power 3. Then plus here we have log 15 over log. 2 raised to the power 3. Then when we apply the power law of logarithm here, 2 comes here, then 3 here, also from here. And we have x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2, then plus log 15 over 3 log 2. That is from here, log 2 cancelled each other. We have 2 over 3 left. Then x now equals to 2 over 3 plus log 15 over 3 log 2. And here also we can express 15 as 3 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to 2 over 3 plus log 3 times 5, then over 3 log 2. Then, yeah, we also follow the law of logarithm. And we can express this as x equals to 2 over 3 plus log 3 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then, Next step, we separate this into two fractions. But what we have becomes x equals to 2 over 3 plus log 3 over 3 log 2, then plus also log 5 over 3 log 2. 
And here we can also express this as x equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 plus also 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. And from here, we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b, which can be written as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 plus also 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. And here we have three common as the SCM. So we can write this as x equals to, we have three now as the SCM. And what we have left here becomes two plus log three base two here, then plus log five base two. So here we have the value of x. In this problem, as x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Now, let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 here. That is, here we have 8 raised to power 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then, from what we have here, we can express 8 as 2 raised to power 3. Which implies you have 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power. That is 2 raised to power 3, now raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 3 here. Is it equals to 60 on this side? The next step, this power here multiplies. At least 3 here cancel each other, and we are left with 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. Is it equal to 60 on this side? At this here, we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power m. Is this what we have here becomes 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then here 2 raised to power 2 2 times 2 that's 4 then times here follows the law of logarithm when we have a raised to power log b to base a is equals to b from here this here we have 3, then here we have 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? That is 4 times 3, 12 times 5, 60. Then this is equals to 60 here. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Hence from here we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.